And we are back. Time now 650. Want to recap again what we're following up in the North Bay. In the wake of the Napa 6.0 quake on Sunday, we had a cluster of aftershocks that all occurred within about a five hour period after that main quake of 320 in the morning. This morning, however, we have three aftershocks to report for you. We've been following them this morning. The biggest one was a 3.9. That happened uh, early this morning, followed by a 2.7 and a 2.8, as you can see here, all about two miles west of American Canyon. And it has been felt, that 3.9 anyway, felt over a wide section of the Bay Area. Now, all the reports have been that people just experienced light shaking. So nothing near as severe as what we saw on Sunday, but it was fairly widespread felt anyway. And so we're following that as part of our ongoing coverage. And we'll expect to see the likelihood of more aftershocks here over the course of the next seven days after that earthquake. So hopefully with each passing day, the magnitudes of these aftershocks will get smaller and smaller, but we'll have to see what happens. This is the live look outside. We've got a overcast skies here over San Francisco, and that's pretty much what we're seeing all over the Bay Area. I will tell you, though, that in the East Bay and in the South Bay, we'll see the skies clear and the North Bay, too. Basically, any of our inland valleys we will see clearing much sooner than San Francisco and the coast. We'll expect these clouds to hang on to the coast for most of the day. Temperatures in the upper 50s, low 60s. We've got 58 in Concord, 61 in San Francisco, 57 in Santa Rosa. That's the way it's shaped up at the moment, but that later on this afternoon, once the sun does come up, we'll see temperatures in the South Bay warm up nicely. In fact, today's highs will be just a bit above yesterday's. We'll look for 81 in San Jose, 84 in Campbell. Through the Silicon Valley, Redwood City, Palo Alto, Mountain View, you'll be in the upper 70s. The warmest spot will probably be the Almaden Valley at about 87. And that'll be the temperature we'll expect out in the Delta, too, in the East Bay, Antioch, Brentwood, 86, 87, maybe an 88 degree temperature out near Discovery Bay, 86 for the Livermore Valley, the San Ramon Valley nearby, a little bit cooler, low to mid 80s there. And along the East Bay shoreline, we'll expect mid 70s in San Leandro, low 70s in Hayward, and we'll see low 70s in downtown Oakland as well, with 73 expected near City Hall, 68 in San Francisco. And if you'll be in the North Bay today, your temperatures will be a little warmer than yesterday, and your skies will be a little clearer. We're looking for daytime highs there in the upper 70s to low 80s. Here's your seven day round the bay forecast. Again, temperatures continue to climb as we head into Wednesday and beyond. High pressure bringing our inland highs back up to the low 90s for the second half of the week. And it looks like our holiday weekend coming up looks fantastic with inland highs on the warm side and mid 70s by the bay. If you have any outdoor plans, this will be a great weekend for it.